Why does the ocean often recede from shore just before a tsunami wave hits land? Have you ever witnessed the ocean pulling back from the shore in a way that seems almost surreal, only to be followed by a massive wave? This phenomenon is often associated with tsunamis, and it's a question that has puzzled many. To understand why this happens, let's start with how tsunamis are formed. Tsunamis are typically generated by large earthquakes that occur beneath the ocean. When an earthquake happens, it can cause the seafloor to either rise or drop suddenly. This movement displaces the water above it, creating a series of waves that can travel at incredible speeds. Imagine a wave on a string or a pond. These waves have crests and troughs, the high and low points of the wave. When a tsunami wave is formed, it also has these crests and troughs. If the first part of the tsunami wave to reach the shore is a trough, the water will pull back from the shore, exposing large areas of the seafloor. This is what we see as the ocean receding. The reason this happens is due to the nature of the earthquake that generated the tsunami. If the earthquake causes the seafloor to drop or subside, it creates a trough in the water that spreads out as a tsunami wave. When this trough reaches the shore, the water pulls back, creating that dramatic receding effect. It's important to note that not all tsunamis start with the water pulling back. Sometimes the first wave to hit the shore can be a crest, meaning the water will suddenly rise without any prior receding. However, if you do see the water pulling back in an unusual way, it's a strong indication that a tsunami might be approaching. The time between the water receding and the tsunami wave hitting can be very short, sometimes just seconds or a few minutes. This is why it's crucial to treat any unusual ocean behavior as a warning sign and evacuate the area immediately. In summary, the ocean recedes before a tsunami because of the way the tsunami wave is generated by the movement of the seafloor. If the first part of the wave to reach the shore is a trough, the water will pull back, exposing the seafloor. Always be cautious and prepared if you notice such unusual behavior from the ocean.